Hello, I am Eunice Tabai Nadola. Welcome to this first edition of the Divine Word Missionaries Web TV News. This edition will take us successively to Mozambique, Philippines, Brazil, Ghana, and Portugal. In addition to the COVID-19 pandemic and the flood in many parts of the country, Mozambique is experiencing a situation of violence in the central and northern parts of the country. In Cabo Delgado, many families have been forced to leave their homes because of the attacks perpetrated by armed groups. Some of these families fled to the parishes where the Divine Word missionaries are working. When they come, they are being received by um, families. So you go to a, you go to a family that receives as, as many as uh, 20 people. And the family is very small, but uh, it was temporary uh, shelter for them. As they, they have no hope of going back, they, have, they need their own place to stay. Lamenting what is happening, the Catholic bishops of Mozambique call for greater sensitivity and solidarity on the part of all. There is an urgent need for a response to this tragedy, they say. They, they came with nothing. They have left everything. They, know, you can imagine they have run away. Some left in the night. They, they have taken nothing. So they need the basic things that you start life with. At the moment, they, there's a, a, a serious uh, hunger in, the, in that area. In fact, children are starving. Which means if we don't go in, there will be a, a lot of uh, a more malnutrition for the children. We really need a, 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 a support from people helping in, in terms of funds to, first of all, to get the, um, to help them survive uh, the uh, starvation. If not, there will be a, a serious uh, a malnutrition among children. Beside the humanitarian aid, it is urgent to find the real insurgents of those attacks and the motivations behind them. We urge all those implicated to act towards peace in the region. On the, the government side, they said it's, it has a religious background. They, they, they said it's the uh, Islamic uh, state that wants to take that part. Uh, and then they learn or something, uh, as above, and that is something blah, 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 that. But when you go to the people, those who are suffering, they see the, a different direction. But they said in the first place, when they came, they told them that we don't want to kill you, we only want to take you out and we want to clear you out of the thing. Because that, uh, this whole thing started when they started discovering certain minerals in that whole area. And that is where the, the whole thing came in. Maybe there's a, a, a need uh, to put pressure on the government. For many years, Father Flaviano Villanueva of the Divine Word Missionaries is a director of St. Anna Johnson Kalinga Center, which aims to give the poor the chance to find dignity and create their own self-worth. Father Flavi, as known in the community, is set to stand trial on charges of conspiracy to commit sedition, which the government laid on him last year. He denies the charges against him. I don't find anything seditious with helping a brother, a sister, a wounded family, the BBC quoted Father Flavi some weeks ago. The message is simple. The killing is not the solution. If you come, you would hear how mothers, how fathers have been victimized. Now children ask, where is my father? Where is my mother? There are truly thousands who have fallen victims to this campaign. I don't find anything seditious with helping a brother, a sister, a wounded family. On December 2nd, 2020, Pope Francis appointed as Bishop of the Diocese of Giparana in Brazil, Father Norbert Hans Christoph Foister of the Divine Word Missionaries, until now Provincial Councillor of Brazil Central Province. The appointment of the new bishop comes in a particular content of the implementation of the decisions and recommendations of the Synod on Amazona. The final document of the Synod, as well as the post-Synodal Apostolic Exhortation, Carida Amazonia, of Pope Francis laid ground for reforms in the region. The new bishop will face both ecclesial and social challenges that need to be attended. Ele fala de quatro sonhos, o sonho social, o sonho cultural, o sonho ecológico e o sonho eclesial. Agora, aqui em Giparaná é um estado 
é uma diocese, o Rondônia é um estado de uma população muito diversa, com interesses muito antagônicos, e em parte onde se criou um profundo ódio de um grupo contra o outro. Estão em jogo o campo social, como nós já vimos, eh, os indígenas, os pequenos agricultores contra o agronegócio e os madeireiros, as mineradoras e a hidroelétrica. Conflitos armados até a morte. E uh, aqui em Gi, Paraná, diferente de Humaitá, uh, os indígenas não estão nas igrejas. Um, eu acredito que praticamente não se celebra missa nas comunidades indígenas. Aqui em Gi, Paraná, as etnias indígenas não estão na igreja. A a igreja faz um trabalho social com eles, um, mas não estão na igreja. Isso certamente dificulta um pouco, porque uh, a população que está na igreja muitas vezes é altamente preconceituosa contra os indígenas, que muitas vezes são vistos como se não fossem gente. In his episcopal show, there is a scene of Guadalupe, where the indigenous shows the way to the bishop. This tells the vision of the new bishop in the line of the synod for Amazon and the dreams and wishes Pope Francis expresses in the post-synodal documents. However, the bishop is aware of the difficulties on the ground. O bispo, então, também é alguém que não pode só falar e decretar, mas tem que ser um pastor que sabe escutar também. Por isso, no meu brasão, tem também a cena de Guadalupe, onde o indígena mostra o caminho para o bispo. Não é o bispo que mostra o caminho, a fé cristã católica para o indígena, mas o indígena eh, leva o bispo até o santuário de Nossa Senhora de Guadalupe. The Ghana Liberia province is engaged in farming projects in some parts of the country. One of them is the SVD Model Farm and Agriculture Training Center in Kintampo in the Bono East region. As Divine Word missionaries, the method of evangelization is not limited to only preaching, but also towards the holistic development of the people. For that reason, the province has embarked on farming projects. This is meant to help people develop modern methods of farming, so to improve their livelihood. And also, it helps for self-reliance of the province. The whole idea is to improve the livelihood of the five farming communities. So they will be coming here to be trained, and then whatever they learn here, they will take it back to their uh, places. We are making business, and in this case, Whatever we are doing here, we do business in, in such a way that we uh, can pay our workers, we pay our, those working around us, and then also make sure that this center help people to have experience in other various uh, uh, farming activities, like what I've mentioned, the piggery, poultry, cashew farming, and then... Uh, a beekeeping and the rest. The Divine Word missionaries in Portugal have given out some parts of their houses in Guimarães and Totosendo to the Red Cross as a backup structure for the recovering COVID-19 patients. The municipalities of Guimarães and Totosendo and the team of the Red Cross express their gratitude to the SVDs for their solidarity in the face of the pandemic. Aquele espaço foi fundamental e foi determinante e, e também é bom dizer que este, a criação deste espaço uh, nasceu lá atrás, logo no primeiro momento da pandemia. Em abril, o município celebrou com o Verbo Divino um protocolo para a utilização daquele espaço, com uma função muito importante, desde logo, porque ainda estávamos no início, era o desconhecido, estávamos todos a aprender. 
e, e aquele espaço e o verbo divino uh, foi fundamental que nos permitiu encontrar uma casa em condições para acolhermos os sem-abrigos, os mais desprotegidos, os mais vulneráveis da nossa sociedade. O, o facto de nós podermos con contar com a contribuição do verbo divino com as instalações para este processo foi fundamental e vital, porque em Guimarães é uma estrutura que nos permitiu dar resposta a um conjunto de necessidades que seria dificilmente possível encontrar em outra estrutura. E, portanto, não nos surpreendeu a abertura do Verbo Divino para este efeito e, portanto, foi de, importal, de importância vital para, para o processo. Eu acho que estava na alta de que realmente a colaboração foi, foi extrema, dar nota de que nós fomos verdadeiramente alterar o dia-a-dia -dia dos padres da, da congregação. É Tem sido uma colaboração extrema, de uma compreensão absoluta e fundamentalmente de um humanismo e de uma humanitude muito grande por parte de todos, porque na verdade o que importa são as pessoas e é para isso que nós estamos cá todos, é para isso. Portanto, tem sido excepcional a colaboração. Digamos que o verbo divino é mesmo um exemplo da, da verdadeira parceria e de como as instituições e as pessoas se devem unir num contexto, em diferentes contextos e mesmo em contexto de pandemia para darmos de cada um de nós o nosso melhor para um bem comum, neste caso a, a saúde e a dignidade do ser humano. Vivat International celebrated last October 2020. 20 years of existence. Vivat International is a non-governmental organization which has a membership of more than 25,000 sisters, brothers and priests from 12 Catholic religious congregations, working in 120 countries for the promotion of human rights through advocacy in international and local levels. Vivat International has a special consultative status with the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations and associated with the United Nations Department of Public Information. Thanks for watching the news. See you next month. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel.